and welcome to this next tutorial in making a quiz in Small Basic. Now, this is a very quick tutorial because I'm just going to show you one quick concept, but it's going to be really useful in making your quiz much more enjoyable and um, entertaining. So, what I've started by doing is I just went to the top of my file and I hit enter to get a new space and I've inserted a new value here. What I've done, I've created a variable called score and I've set it equal to zero. Now the reason for doing this is obviously when you start playing your quiz you haven't taken it yet, so you haven't yet scored anything, so you score, you want it to be reset to zero every time you play the quiz. Now the next thing I've done, every time I've printed a correct answer I've said score equals score plus one. Now the way this works, it sort of goes from right to left. What it does, it goes add one to the value of score and then store it in the same variable score. So it like overwrites the original value of zero and adds one to it, which is exactly what we want to do. Now notice I've done it again here because again, it's a correct answer. I haven't done it here because if they get the wrong answer, obviously you don't want to give them a, um, a score for that. And again here for the correct answer, score equals score plus one. And finally here, score equals score plus one. Now obviously if you've got a longer quiz of like 10 questions or something, you'll need to copy and paste that line of code under each correct answer to make sure they get an extra point, an extra score, every time they get a correct answer. Now finally, at the very end of your quiz, so if you've done 10 questions, right after the very last question is answered, you put this final line of code, now what this does, it writes the text of the screen you scored. I've put a colon and a space here just to make it look better, so I've got a space between the text and the actual number that gets printed. Now finally, you after the speech marks, this is important, you put a plus sign and then the variable name score. And what that does, it says print this text, then add the contents of the variable score and print that to the screen. So let's just quickly show you that in action. We run it, let's get a correct answer. So I think the correct answer is London. Great, tells me it's correct. What's the capital of France? Let's get this wrong. I don't know, let's just say it is, uh, I don't know, Stalingrad. First thing that comes into my head. There you go, it tells me I'm wrong and it gives me a score of one. So as I got one correct answer, the code is working perfectly. Now I'll just run it again quickly, and if I was to get two of them wrong, so let's just enter some nonsense here, there you go, it shows me I've scored no points, and finally if I run it again, and obviously it is London, and it is absolutely Paris, it shows me I've got two marks correct. So you can extend this, write yourself some more questions in exactly the way I showed you last time, add this line of code, score equals score plus one, after each correct answer and you will have a fully working quiz which will grade you on how many questions you've got right. Well I hope you enjoyed that and have a go. See you next time. Bye for now.